Hey team, it's Colby Fea. We're going to talk a little bit about mapping applications and how they impact our world. But first, if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that button for future updates. This video supplements an article I wrote called Anyone Can Map. It plays on the themes of Ratatouille and the wisdom Chef Gusteau shares with Remy the Rat. If you haven't watched the movie, Chef Gusteau's famous quote is Anyone Could Cook, and that's also the title of his book. Along with this, we're going to go through a couple of his quotes and try to see how his wisdom can help us on our mapping journey. Number one, food always comes to those who love to cook. To start, we need to get inspired by maps. How can we learn from them and what kind of impact do they have on the world? With my work, I find it pretty easy to get excited about maps. I previously gave a talk at NationJS in DC about building maps with impact on React and Jamstack. Here, I kind of gave some examples about maps and how you can actually build them in React and the Jamstack. There are a ton of good examples of maps helping people around the world. This one particular, NASA Firm Service, helps identify active fires throughout the world. This is real-world data that's helping people around the world manage resources for helping stop and prevent these fires. Another example is this coronavirus map from John Hopkins CSSE. Here we can see the global spread of the virus, which allows scientists to help pull that data, model it, and create results that they can share with the world. This is a really effective way of presenting this data because we can see how the spread of the virus is impacting each country. On a more positive note, we can see the life expectancy as it has occurred through history. Here we can see an actual timeline and animation that goes through each country and shows how it's improving over time. Number two, how can I describe it? Good food is like music you can taste, color you can smell. There's excellence all around you. You need only to be aware to stop and savor it. There's also a beauty to maps. Pentagram's The Room of Change shows us the change over time for this geographical area. In addition to literal art, we can also see Daily FX's Global Commodities Map, which lets us play around with the globe and actually explore the commodities around the world. Just because the data is thick and boring doesn't mean we can't create something interesting to interact with. It's also amazing to see some of the random visualizations for data around the world, like here in Reddit's data is beautiful. Reddit user Dancing Chopsticks shows their recorded travels as a professional truck driver since 2012. Number three, you must be imaginative, strong-hearted. You must try things that may not work, and you must not let anyone define your limits because of where you came from. Your only limit is your soul. Be creative with your mapping. Try to explore more ways to visualize your data. The 50 States Project is an art project that shows how they're traveling across the country. While this format might not work for everybody, it definitely works for road trips. What you probably see more frequently is the corp with map. This uses shaded geographic regions to show how the data is presented across the map. This is really common for political maps like we see for our current primary. Another popular map type is heat maps. Here we can see the population density from 2015 all across the earth. This can be really powerful when you want to represent both the area covered and the range that that data represents in that particular location. Use different tools and formats to try to represent the data that you need. Be creative, make a new one. Number four, what I say is true. Anyone can cook, but only the fearless can be great. You're not always gonna get it right, but it's okay. The Twitter account Terrible Maps is probably my favorite example of this. There might not always be a right way to make a map, but there's often a wrong way. But don't let that failure stop you. Take it as a learning experience on your journey to creating great maps. Number five, not everyone can become a great artist, but a great artist can come from anywhere. This last quote comes from Anton Ego. Towards the end of Remy's journey, Anton realizes that Gusto's claim that anyone can cook isn't what he thought. While it's not reasonable to assume that everyone can become a great mapper, everyone has the opportunity to try. And it definitely helps that we have a lot of tools available. Like here we have Leaflet, we also have Open Layers. If you're interested in getting more into mapping, check out the link in the description. At the bottom, you'll be able to find some resources to help you get started. Know of any cool mapping tech? Make sure to leave a comment with your favorite mapping tool or map. And if you like this video, make sure you subscribe for more updates. Thanks for watching.